What's going on, YouTube? We back at it again, man. Welcome to Chuck's Daily Hustle. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment below, hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with what I got going on, man. I got the links to the uh, social medias in the description below, man. So we at Mannheim North Star in Minnesota, and we gotta find some used cars, man. Gotta make some money, man. So let's see what we find. What kind of, it's a Benz, man. SMK 350. It's a two-door joint. How many miles on here? 73,000. That's out of my price range, man. Y'all know I'm here to make money. Not for the looks of them. I got a 200. That's a little beat up. That's my cup of tea. Got 111,000 miles, though. Uh, it's too beat up. All right, on to the next, man. Let's figure this out. We got a... We have to find some car. We gotta find some nice cars, man. This little Aveo, got two low miles. Got Park Avs, 99, hold on. What the hell is this? Oldsmobile? Is this a, it's better not be. Nah, <laughs> it's another Oldsmobile 88, y'all. If y'all, have been subscribing to the channel and you've been watching the videos y'all know i just got rid of one of these same year i ain't gonna mess with that though that shit i sold that to my aunt that's it's always bad when your buyer gotta be a family family member the reason why i say that is because i always give so when my family hit me up they be like hey you got something for like 1200 i'll be like yeah i got something for you and i always give them the shit that's been sitting around for a while that nobody came out and looked so I'm not saying that's a, it's, it's a fucked up car. I'm just saying that I gave him a nice ass car for a dope ass price. And, um, and I do that because they, I can't sell them. What the got, man? I'm looking, man. I'm looking for something interesting, but I'm not seeing nothing yet. I don't fuck with them Impalas, man. I do not have good luck with them. This damn town and country, though. Y'all know I love them. But this motherfucker's on a flat. So we gotta have somebody put some air in that joint. All right, so we gotta come back on that one. Well, let me look at the inside and see if it's worth coming back on. Got the leather interior. Start up. I ain't got my jump pack today, man. Oh, this is dead. I got my jump pack because uh, I didn't lost, uh, not lost it, but I didn't charge it, man. If y'all watched the other uh, Manheim video at Minneapolis, Minnesota, I didn't, um, my shit wasn't jumping off. Man. So I need to bring that to put it in the charger one handed, which I'll uh, use my head and shit. All right, I'm still jumping. Let's see what else they got here. I ain't fucking with that Volkswagen. thousand miles though uh that's gonna go high <laughs> we're gonna leave that alone too let's see over here man we still looking man can't give up let's see i just sold one of those last week Sedona. I sold that here. It was a white one though. I lost $150, but that bitch was sitting there too long. I can't rock with these Impalas no more. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put y'all on game. Y'all don't even know this, man. Whenever they got these uh wheel covers on this Impala, that means it got a 3400 motor, which you don't want. You want the uh alloy rims. That got a that have a 3800 motor in it. 06, they got a they got an 06 Jetta. 
with 145. It's a little beat up. I still haven't been able to get rid of the uh, the Jetta I got at the office, y'all. Mm. Redwood Falls, Chevy. It's a Chevy dealer. Let's roll. Let's see. It starts up. Oh, it's dead. <sighs> this is why you need a damn jump pack, y'all. That's got low miles too. That ain't gonna work. So I'm looking for something like 150-ish, 130 maybe, 140, something that we know we have a chance on getting for the law. So this is crazy, man. It, it used to be so. Look, man, this is the same thing. Odessa, Manhattan, Minneapolis. Like there never used to be any empty spaces, man. Like now, it just ain't enough. It ain't enough. Uh, cars it's like when we come out here then we be bidding it's like you like crabs in a bucket you know what i'm saying like it's too many dealers and not enough cars shit crazy i'm gonna start off in the back this time on lane three see what they got hopefully nobody be hating on me again about me recording I know they tried to get me last time. I was out here at North Star, matter of fact. Why is he recording? Head ass boys. All this new shit. Honda Accord back there. Infinity. What kind of Infinity is this? It's a 14. Did a review on the Q70. If y'all like these, y'all need to go look at that uh, Q70 uh, video. That's probably like my worst. Damn, this damn car is dead too. That's like my worst car review, if you ask me. Like, I think that was like the last one when I did it, cause I was like starting to feel like it was a job. I oh, look at this Outback. It's a 14. What the hell? I don't even know shit about Outbacks. I know this thing look like it's souped up. This shit like it'd be a fun ride. Hey, if you know what kind of uh, Outback that is, make sure, or matter of fact, I can tell y'all. See, this is the dope thing about Mannheim, y'all. So look, so look, you click on Mannheim. Hold up. I don't want to show y'all too much, but look, you go right here on Mannheim, and you hit MMR lookup, and then you take the scanner out, and then you hit it like that, and then it tells you what it is. So this is a 2014, Subaru Impreza WRX four-door sedan. This bitch is worth 16,000 on a wholesale joint. I just gave y'all a lick. I told y'all how much, oh, it's a fucking five-speed. I would drive it for y'all, man, but I can't drive it down five-speed and film at the same time. So that ain't gonna work. Wrangler, Kia Soul, what's that back there? A Mazda, probably a CX6, whatever the fuck you call that. Seven something at the end of it. What they got over there? They got a Beamer with some rims on it. They don't got shit, y'all. This is some bullshit. Aw, oh, man. All I'm seeing is new cars, y'all. I'm gonna make some money. needs a damn jump, I bet, because the hood's open. This is a cool tribute, though. Let me see. Let's see if y'all can see it. It's pretty clean. It's got 150 on it. Tires is cool. Let's see how y'all can see it, but got a little 
Need a little bit of what's name over there. So start, it. start it up, nice. Check engine lights on. Let's check that out. Oh, almost lost the AirPod, y'all. Been mad. All right, let's see. Ugh, where's this damn OBD port? There it is. this joint real quick evap code evap code that's nothing let's see if anything's pending when y'all checking these codes man just don't check the store codes and if it says like automatic transmission, you can read the code on there. You most definitely want to do that. I messed up and didn't do it the first time I realized that a, um, a trainee could have a, a code in it, like separate than my regular um, my regular setting to read the engine code. Um, I bought an Audi A3 and it needed a whole new trainee in it. Um, it had a code in it and I didn't pay attention to it until it was too late. And so it was tight on me, but uh, hopefully we're gonna run out of gas. Let's see. Anyways, all right, we got the windows working. All right, windows working. Let's see, we got the AC. Cause it's hot as hell now. It was cold as hell this morning. So hey, so the Mannheim Minneapolis video that I did, uh, the walk around, the last one y'all are gonna see, that was from the day. That's from this morning. So. That's from this morning. So this morning I was cold as shit. Now I'm hot as shit. I gotta hear that, y'all. All right, it's power steering. It's got the power steering one in this joint. The reverse work though. Let's see. Let's drive. Let's just drive, man. All right. Let's see what we got, man. I guess we can look at this back row over here too. I should drive over there to the insurance lane too, y'all. See what that's got over there. And once again, so if you just now kind of tune it in, y'all. So the insurance lane, that's like going to Copart. All right, y'all, I got a phone call I got to answer. So let me get this real quick and then we'll throw this on the track. Let's get it. All right, let's gotta stay roll. That was a cool ride. I can hear uh I can hear wheel bearings though. It's hot. I wonder if this that the AC wasn't working before, yeah. Oh there it goes right there. Alright, let's see. so loud that I don't know if it's also the uh, it might be the tires bro like it's loud because like I'm getting noise from all over so it's not like I'm getting it from one side so it could be the tires might, might be old I know they say they had good tread on it but that don't mean it's not weather strip you know what I'm saying but mm -hmm. I'm gonna pass on this though because I'm not I already know it's gonna go high anyway and uh, just because of the miles on it and then it's got a power steering and it needs tires, bro. Nah, I'm straight. Cause shit, if you can't find no used tires, you're gonna be looking at like $500 for these damn tires. Speaking from experience. You don't want that. I want $200, $300 repairables, man. I don't wanna be putting no fucking $5,000 into some shit. Y'all saw me, I had to put fucking, what was that? Oh, what am I like fifteen hundred? No, thirteen hundred dollars into that damn path, that new Pathfinder I had bought. Mad as hell, my dumb ass. Shouldn't even bought it. Trying to experiment and shit. Ain't nobody hit me up on it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to motherfucking. Uh, I'm gonna have to run that car through this auction, man. Hopefully, I can. Uh, I can uh, make some money on it. Oh, this is dead too, man. See, I just had to not have a damn jump pack today, man. 
shit all bad, man. I probably lost out on some money too. Ford Fusion. Uh, I'm good on them. I don't want no three thousand dollar cars really, unless it's something that's rare. Uh, they got a little cheap ass contour. Right here. It's clean as shit though. This damn thing probably was high as fuck since it's up. Clean. 98. Look at that, y'all. That's pretty clean, man. For Minnesota. Not four minutes anywhere, really. I don't see no rust. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, right here. That ain't nothing. But that's usually dude. Y'all I mean y'all see the cars that I know y'all be seeing the cars that uh that I'll be showing, man. Oh, this is dead too. Bro. This is why you gotta have a jump pack. Oh uh, man. This is fucked up. Can't be having this going on, man. <laughs> Alright, what's this? A whole one Nissan. Gotta put some rust bubbles over there. It's probably like a I wonder if this is an ultimate. It is. Alright, I'm gonna dry this one, y'all. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it starts. Alright. We heard a little. We got one. Check engine light on. Right, it's hot in here. Let's see if we can find some cold. Pork. I don't know why this damn thing does this all the time. Vent control, that ain't nothing. Evap ain't nothing. Them both went to the same problem. I guarantee you. I need to hit the pendant. Kind of messing up. Just got some AC though. So we good there. My man's hot. I know he gotta be hot. It's hot as shit out here. He got that hoodie on. Y'all ever watch that video? I'm from the trenches. <laughs> oh man, I forgot that best day though. He's a comedian. It's got like a CV axle. I'm hearing something. Y'all hear that clunking going? That sound like a CV axle. Let's see how it dry, and then we'll decide on what we want to do. All right, let's see. So, all right, that was okay, shit. 40, it's a little bit off. It's, uh, it's still drove, I mean, it drove okay. That was up to 50. I'm gonna try to get it up to like 55 on the way back, though. Let's see. See, it's got that clunk, though, I don't know. But that's like something stupid. That's like, oh, hell no. That shit sound unsafe as hell. I'm good. <laughs> that shit, I mean, that's probably just a strut though, man. If I can get it for the dirt, I'm gonna buy it. I just go, the only thing is that I, the one thing I hate is when I can't drive the damn car from the auction. Because it's easy for me to just go ahead and, um, it's easy for me to go ahead and get somebody to help me drive. But it ain't as easy for me to um, for me to go get the trailer and then hook it up and all that shit, or have somebody tow it or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? So like, that's the one thing I don't. That's why I do not like buying cars that needs to get trailer. But whatever. They got some new Volkswagen over here. Oh, 
of here. I wonder why they got them sitting like in the back like that. They usually had a nice stuff like where everybody can see it. Oh, uh, look, I didn't even see that, y'all. They got a town and country over here. Right. Let's see if this town and country got. Oh, man. It don't look like it's going to start up. Nope. This shit pissing me off, y'all. Everything I actually like and interested in, you gotta have the jump pack, and I ain't got them. And then these fools, and North, I mean, at uh, Odessa, you can, the only thing good about Odessa is you can go in there and then take their jump packs. Here, they be acting like that shit is gold. And they be having the biggest jump packs. Like, you can't steal that shit. All right, found me an ion, though. And this joker looks ugly, too. Make sure you hear me. All right, ain't no check engine lights got 175 right? This is a three or four door. I'll show you how, how, how it opens up though when I get back. It looks like a two door. I had bought one of these. This is like, <laughs> this is actually dope because uh, my first cars, I, I bought three cars, y'all. Uh, my first batch. Uh, I remember two of them. One of them was a Mercury Sable, one was an Ion, like this, a lot cleaner though. And then the other one was something i don't even know what it was all i know is i bought them online right i bought them online because i had to work i used to have this not I, I had a nine to five and um i couldn't get off so i drove it i mean i did not drive it my bad i just went online like as soon as they approved us i'm like Shit, i'm gonna go online and like i said nobody to mentor me y'all so um most definitely man y'all should be appreciative of anybody if you're thinking about getting into the game of anybody that does um what we doing so if you see anybody like you know doing youtube and they showing you kind of like the ins and outs of it like y'all should appreciate them i'm not just talking about myself man um hold on one second chuck we good okay all right cool i'm gonna tell y'all the story after this after we try this. Alright. All right. It sounds pretty good. Um, felt pretty good. I think it just needs a strut in the back. I can feel it just a little bit. I'd probably be able to sell it the way it is. But I do know that it needs a little, like, it's starting to get a little strut noise. Strut noise. It ain't terrible, though. Let me try one more time. This is a good car, y'all. And it says coolant light here. So they're gonna be scared of that. But uh anyways, the only thing I'm saying is like I'm not talking about myself when I say like be appreciative of it, y'all. I'm saying like just be appreciative of the people that are like whatever industry you in. If they got videos out there and they showing you like their day-to-day -day shit, like appreciate that good shit. Basically that's gonna help you not make mistakes, man. Like, um, it took me years to get my formula down right, you know what I'm saying, like, to figure out how to do this shit. It's funny because my brother, one of my brothers, he like, bro, you giving away, you giving away your game for free. Like, it took you a long time to perfect this shit. He's like, you need to charge them motherfuckers. And I'm like, nah, I'm not on that. Like, I'd rather just um, do it the way I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I don't give all my secrets away, but I can give you the basis and then you figure out the rest on your own. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, that's all I'm saying, y'all. I know that was kind of long-winded or whatever, but you got to do that, man. For real. Because I lost a lot of money. I say a lot of money, I mean, nigga, I was sitting there coming out the auction depressed, hurting, like, knowing that I got to work extra hours at the regular job to recoup the money that I just messed up. Like, I had bought a T-bone, my first three cars, that's what I was saying. I bought a T-bone car um, because I didn't come out and, and, and look at it. The pictures didn't show the, the part that it was T-bone. The uh, and then the, when they went through the, the lanes, it only showed you one side of the car. And then boom, I get there like, oh, this is fucked up. All right, let's keep it moving, man. That's, that's smashed up. Ain't no coming back from that, y'all. I'm on that car. They got a Sentra. Might be some money. 
Yep. I love when cars are missing their wheel covers. I don't know why people don't be understanding that it don't even matter, huh? Nope, I didn't. Yeah, I'm about to drive this stuff. Oh, let me see how your miles. I didn't even look at the miles. 147. Perfecto. Oh, for real? Look at this shit. That means it's just a car crash, huh? Wait, why did that do that? Now you can open it up free. Oh, maybe this is rusty. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. It smells good as hell in here, y'all. Oh, it smells real good. And the interior is pretty damn clean. Besides that stain right there, but that's pretty damn clean. Let's see. Started right up, baby. Yeah. This is a lick right here. I bet you I get this, y'all. If I don't get it, then damn. But I got a good feeling I'm going to get it. Just because of the way it looks. I don't know why people don't like cars that don't have wheel covers on. It's the dumbest shit ever. It's like, I go to the damn, I go to O'Reilly and get these damn wheel covers for you. Oh, shit. Hold up. I'm trying to listen. But yeah, I go to O'Reilly's and I get these wheel covers for like $40 for the whole thing. Let's see what we got, man. Oh, that's the CV axle right there. I, I know y'all heard that clicking. Let me try again. Just do a do a U turn real quick. All right, that's the CV axle right there. Whenever you do like a turn and you hear that clicking, and it's only from there. Oh, look, I ain't like that. We gonna put this bitch back. It took way too long to go in reverse. And then the what? Yep, we good. Put this bitch right back where it came from. Alright, let's see. I used to rock with them S60s and shit, but they just be off the chain with the repairs and prices. Let's see, we got a Stratus right here. 83,000 miles, we good. We got another Cobalt, y'all know. Y'all know I love them Cobalts. Let me see. How many miles on them? Uh, 114. We straight. Miles too low. Let's see. They got a oh two thousand. Uh, I ain't gonna uh, let's not go that high. They got another Hyundai. 106 low miles. Ah, man, I can't find no cars to flip. This little Toyota though. Little Corolla. Let's see. This might be the one. This might be the one. It's an O2. Yeah. I ain't flipping the tire. Oh, tire's good too? Let's go. Let's get it, y'all. What's that? That college student car. Gotta have them. like swayed a little bit when I was hitting on the brake so caliper might be sticking somewhere or it needs a caliper yes yeah, it needs a right caliper because it went 
right and I had to go left. Yeah. Alright. So it needs a caliper and a strut. But that's a quick those are both quick fixes and cheap, so that ain't bad. Um man, but these these Toyotas, man, I'm starting to kind of really like these because um they make some money and then it seems like the market base it kind of don't it's like gold and shit you know what i'm saying like them hondas are but like i feel like the honda sales are starting to go down a little bit like that people not holding it like they're because all right let me, i'm talking a little bit too fast but i remember like when the hondas was like like man they would sell high as shit and then like you could really sell them on the street for high as fuck but now you can't but these toyotas like you can buy these at a high rate and then still sell them uh, even though he in this damn, you know, whatever we going through right now economically, um, but you can uh, basically sell them like you used to get sell the the damn uh, the damn Hondas. You know what I'm saying? Like they're still holding their value even right now, so that's dope. But um, yeah, let's see if we can find some more, man. Some more cars. I think I'm gonna try to grab this one though. This seems pretty good. The AC working, it's got aftermarket seat players. I was about to mess with this Toyota, but it's all smashed up in the front. So we good on that. Let's go try to find some cars in here. Got some door shit. They got the Camaro. I know a lot of y'all like those. They got a fleet. This is probably like an old cable company's car. Never satisfied. Oh, that's dope. Look at that. See, I, this is the type of shit that I like, man. I like when people do their own shit to their cars. But this got a V6 in it. So it's not even worth me <laughs> even trying to start up. But I do like what they did. Oh, that's the seat cover. I'm gonna walk away. V6 is in sports cars. I don't I don't like those. If you're going if you're gonna get something you want to get the best of it or at least like you know almost there with whatever you can afford you know what i mean if you're gonna do it like that you know what i'm saying that's all i'm saying i know it's a lot of people that got regular sports cars so i'm not trying to take shots at y'all bro all these are gonna go cheap and somebody's gonna come All of these are gonna go cheap, for sure. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna make sure they're four by fours. So. They might be front wheel drives, cause that's usually what they uh, what um, like Comcast and Xfinity be buying. But shit, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna drive all these drives. damn good that's pretty damn good yo i ain't gonna lie to you i gotta make it i gotta make sure these is four by fours though if they front wheel drive then that's gonna affect how much i'll pay for them though i'm gonna drive that'd be dope as hell though if i get all three of them i like controlling the market and shit y'all so like when they sell a lot of shit like that when they do the fleets bro like usually man I, if i'm buying i'm trying to buy them all because i don't want no competition. I want to control the whole market. I, I used to buy, uh, you know, I see, look, I told y'all I wasn't going to give y'all the secrets, so I ain't finna, <laughs> I ain't finna give y'all all the secrets, man. Can't even do it, man. I'm going to have to keep watching, man. I keep giving y'all them gems, man, for sure. But I ain't going to give them all to you at once, man. Tell you that. But we got to. Uh, test drive the next ones. Let's see what's I guess over here though, huh? They got all the new shit. All the new shit. Look at that. Durango. Nissan. Rubicon. I did a review on them Rubicons. Right there. Same color and everything. Look. You got you a Ford 
I don't even know what you want to call them, but they're basically like a sprinter. They got those, man. They got everything, man. You got range. Look at the new range, man. That's a 20. See, you can get anything that you want when you come a dealer, bro. You can get anything that you want. Um, I might come back and mess with that Altima. That's my uh, Stilo right there. Bro got his pants all the way up. Um, yeah, I'm saying, but they got some shit over here. It's cool. Look, hey, you know what's crazy though? I just, I just hopped in this car, right? And ain't nobody came and, and, and started messing with these cars. So that, that I like shit like that. Like, I want the shit that nobody want. You know what I mean? Because every because people be fighting too hard for some bullshit. Let's uh hop in this other one. We might as well keep this camera rolling. All right, so we most definitely are buying that one. They got the new Forerunners. I don't know why I love them Toyota Forerunners. Like I buy that for myself. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. Y'all think I'm joking. I'm not. I'm multitasking. We doing what we doing, man. Look at this one. So this one got the light on that on that jogger. This one's a little, it's got rust. They all got rust though. I feel like it's a little bit less clean of an image on that side, but this side makes up for it. So that's cool. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder. How you cut that damn light on? <laughs> I be doing stupid shit. All uh, right, need like a little flex pipe, maybe. Check engine light on. Oh, it's four wheel drive though, baby. Oh, uh, it just started. I mean, it was flashing, but damn. Check engine light on though. So let's see what that's talking about. They got that shit ripped all the way out. Look at that. Camera had to go sideways on y'all. Trying. trying man see this is the thing this should be slowing me down but i'll be doing it because you gotta put in the work let's see what they got man evap code fuel level sensor let's see what's pending nothing besides the evap code all right so that's that's good man i don't care about no fuel level sensor as long as it don't affect the way that that this car drives Oh, this was a cable company for sure. Look at that. Let's see that light. That light. See, man, if I can get these, man, this would be cool. Because this is like, you can get these probably like, when they be like this, people don't be seeing the vision. So you might be able to get this for the dirt and pop them off for like 18 a pop. You know what I'm saying? So that's 36, that's uh, 30, what? My bad, 18, 36, 60, uh, no, my bad, 18, 36, 54. So that's 54, uh, 100 right there. That's potentially. You know, I'm like, oh, there goes some clunking and shit. You know, like that batch is worth like 54 to like 6 Gs, you know what I'm saying? So then you gotta factor in. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna factor in all these repairs that I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying? See if it's worth it. Cause if I can look at it, not individually, but as a batch, like I get three of them jokers, I get them for, you know, three Gs, but then I pop them off, you know, uh, for, tw uh, for 50, uh, 400. So then, you know, I'm making 2,400 off three Gs. 40, 40, 45 percent markup. That ain't bad at all. If you ask me, that's how you're supposed to make money. You know what I mean? If you double up, that's real good. Triple up, that's something crazy. So this damn four wheel drive, like he's popping on. So something's wrong with this four wheel drive. So that ain't cool. But it's basically a front wheel drive ass truck. So I would just put front wheel drive truck when I sell that motherfucker. Four by four doesn't work ever, as long as you're honest. But if you can get it at a good price, man, some people just, man, some people honestly, bro, like they buy cars not because it's a the way that it looks, not because it's a truck, like because it's in a price range and they like, oh, I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? As long as the engine and the training be running, they got some nice tires on it, you know what I'm saying? The motor's not, you know, finna go to shit or the training, man. They really be cool with it, man. You'd be surprised. But I, but the one thing though, I, I don't sell shit with like, 
I'm not, I mean, y'all y'all already watched my video, so y'all know what I do. Like, I'm dropping to the mechanic. Like, it's got some strut issues and shit. Like, I'm gonna fix them. You know what I'm saying? If it's something that I was like, oh, I ain't gonna worry about it. And then I showed that joker two, three times. Um, then, and ain't nobody buy it. I'm about to fix the issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like holding on to shit too long. I'll take a loss. You know what I mean? Like, it's all about keep on moving for me. But, we got this long ass line right here, so. Uh, I'll tune right back with you guys. All right, let's see, man. All right, this one drove good too. It seems like when you get to like a stop, um, if you a mechanic man, comment below. Let me know what you think uh, that could be to make like when you get so basically when you get to a stop then or slowing down and that four by four comes on but when you're driving it don't it doesn't say four by four like that's weird i never it's probably like a sensor or something or, or a wire or something i don't know when i don't know something i don't know man <laughs> that's why we bring it to the mechanic man all right let's see so i'm gonna get this one for sure well i'm gonna put it on the i'm gonna put it on the list it's got some uh some strut issues, which ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's like, sound like a control arm right there. So it might have like a little control arm issue and a, and a strut, so that's like, it ain't shit. That's like two, three hundred dollar work, you know what I mean? So, ain't nothing major. Let's get to the third one. Hey, y'all, I figured out how to uh, make that light come on. See that? <laughs> Put it in reverse, man. All right, next one. Next one, man. We're gonna go to, uh, oh, that's that one over there by that. Dang. Let me take a picture of my little car real quick. That's what I do, y'all. Make sure that I, I don't forget about it. And then I send myself a little note. All right, here's the next one. Huh? Yeah, all day, every day. All day. Oh, this this is my other brothers right there, man. Y'all y'all niggas only want to look at the camera, man. <laughs> it's alright. It's my other brothers right there. They don't know. They don't know. They don't want to be on the internet, man. But look, I'm tripping, y'all. Ain't even put y'all. Oh no. Nah. I'm saying. But anyways, I, for, I almost forgot to. Uh, To put y'all on the damn camera, man. That's garbage. You ain't messing with this one. All right, so we're gonna get the two out of the three, and uh, let's see what they got back here. My brothers just came from back here, though. Look, they got a nice little color Jeep Wrangler. That's cool. Nice color Charger. That's cool too. So all these are newer cars down here. So let's see if they got something over here for the one time. If they don't, they're getting out of here. Man, I just saw a car that I like, which is this uh, Avalanche. I wish they come out with another one. I don't think they got other ones yet, but whatever, man. Enough talking, man. I'm done with the... Uh, with all the cars that I would buy. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and end this video, y'all. So I appreciate y'all like always for tuning in. Chuck's Deadly Hustle. Like, subscribe, share, comment below. Peace.